surprise, 34 of you took the uh, survey. And of those 34, 27 of you said you are able to play Minecraft Education Edition at home and you are willing. So for those 27 of you, I've got six brand new, just made today, uh, Minecraft Education Edition activities, projects, challenges for you to pick from. You can do any of them in any order. You can do all of them. Uh, and if you're not seeing them yet, it's just because you have to complete climate change in order to see it. So once you take all your climate change notes and you're ready to move on to the ACE dot and the water quality, uh, then you'll unlock all those uh, quest assignments in Classcraft. They're in Google Classroom, so you can get them before you finish climate change, but it's nice to get them on Classcraft so you can get all the XP and go and check it out. I've got Minecraft Energy Transfer, You Are the Mayor, Lumen Power Challenge, Pollinator Gardens, 3D Models COVID-19, and Rube Goldberg Machines. So if you click on any one of these, uh, it's got some information and a link to a Flipgrid. Basically, when you're done with the challenge or done building, you're going to come to Flipgrid and record yourself uh, giving us a tour of your accomplishment. But let's back up here. All these uh, quest assignments have uh, instructions and uh, items for you to look at. Go to Google Classroom to look at them. So for example, for the pollinator gardens, you've got this pollinator charts PDF document uh, color-coded to help you learn about pollinator plants uh, that will be especially useful for like honeybees. Um, any insect that pollinates is very important to us humans and our uh, food webs. So this is something you're going to use. Got that document there. You've got the instructions here. Building a, building a pollinator garden. Uh, it's got questions and it goes through the activities you're going to be doing for this specific uh, challenge. And last but not least, it's got the world. So I clicked on the world and it's like, well, what do you want me to do with it? You have to download it. That's all you can do with it because it's not meant to be looked at through a browser. There we go. Download complete. Now, let's say you downloaded it, but you haven't uh, got Minecraft Education Edition yet. Here's all you need to do. Do a search for Minecraft Education Edition. Download. And look, it's the very first thing that pops up. And then you want to download uh, the recommended one. I have a Windows desktop, so of course I'm going to download that one. If you have a Mac, you can download this one. Now, iPad, these worlds, I don't know if they'll work there, but you can try it. Um, Xbox, I don't think uh, it'll work because I don't see a download there. But that's it. You download it, you install it, it's free. You've already got the school account. The school's paying for it. So you might as well take advantage of it. So now we're going to launch Minecraft education edition now the login information for those of you that don't know it i'm going to post it uh, in classcraft so you'll be able to log in today and your sign in is going to look similar to mine after the at so before the at it's going to be exactly like your uh, Google account, but after the at, it's going to be csd49.org. You don't have to put student. And then the password, very similar, I mean almost exactly, your um, school Google account password, except for one change. The first letter is capitalized. That's it. 
Now that I'm here, I can go to import and I can import the world I just downloaded. Uh, and I'll check in downloads if I can't find it. There it is, test two pollinator garden. Level import finished successfully. I go to view my worlds and there it is. And then I can play. Now a lot of these worlds, once you get into the world, uh, it has instructions right there. The uh, person who's there will tell you what's going on. So there's Bob the bee guy. Hello Bob. Bob tells you what to do. You can watch the video. You can read these instructions and explore and uh, do your best. Now, if the game, let's go to settings here, is set to creative, you're okay. Um, but if it's set to adventure or, or survival, your challenge is to keep it that way. Don't cheat and go to creative. Do it the way it's meant to be. Um, and, and hopefully you'll have an exciting time that way. But then once you're done, we go to the flip grid. And when you click on the plus to record... Now I can't actually do it right now because I'm already using my camera. See my face? Camera being used. Uh, you're going to do it with uh, uh, the screen capture. So let me try. All right, so I started over so I could uh, do this screen casting without my camera. All right, so where were we? Oh yeah, once you're done with your uh, Minecraft challenge, you're gonna click on this plus. Now, this works best on your your Chrome, I know it works. Microsoft Edge, it works. Just make sure your browser's fully updated. You're going to have three minutes for the tour, so plan it out so we don't miss anything. Uh, but if worse comes to worse and you run out after three minutes, record a second one and just call it part two. No biggie. Now here's what you want to do. You don't want to just start recording your face. Uh, you want to go to video options, and if you have your most updated newest browser, you're going to see screen recording beta. That's what you want. And you want to start screen recording. And you're going to pick your computer screen. You can do your entire screen, or you can just go to application window and choose Minecraft Education Edition, and you're going to share. Then once you're here, go into Minecraft, and if you're, uh, now if you're totally done, you can turn it back into, uh, or turn it into creative mode so you can fly around for your tour. That is totally acceptable. Um, so let's say this was what you created. You can be given us a tour. And if you don't want your video to show there in, in that bottom corner, um, I'm sure there's a way to get rid of it. And if you figure it out, let me know, because I haven't, this is the first time I've done this. So you'll have your plots here, and you'll be showing us and saying the specific type of plant or flower you grew, and which insect uh, will use it to eat and, and to get pollen and survive. And, and get our fruits growing for us, because that's why we need pollinators. So make sure you uh, are very specific and detailed in your answers when you give your three-minute tour. This is really exciting uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you all do so I'm gonna go to stop sharing Here. go into go into Minecraft and if you're uh, and, if and you're, there you go uh, you've got your uh, share oh look my face didn't show up there the video is not there so perfect that's the way you want it then as always you go to next you take your selfie and you're done you can go to the next one this is going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. So have fun, learn some great science, and show off what you learned in a fun way in Minecraft.